tonight on EA Sports. Super Bowl 57. So the ref takes a peek here, wants to see if the receiver had possession and both feet inbounds. If this were a college game, this would be a legal catch. It's the second foot that they're looking at to make sure it gets down. Cap cap two inbounds in the NFL. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. Back to throw. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw we'd like to have back. Now fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. 34-yard line. Sanders first carry of the game it's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain a six yard pickup brings up second and four at the 40 yard line the last run got six now second and four the gun it's wins throwing over the middle and it's incomplete he was looking for miles sanders out of the backfield but now it'll be third down it certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down working from the gun Wentz open man it's Rager he's got it and he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion now after the completion we're going to get a timeout an injured player well he gets attended to we'll step aside Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. Flushed out right. And now he's going to use his legs. 
They'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Here's second and five now from the 37. Wins on the give to Sanders. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. And this may be a big early turning point in this Super Bowl. They're going to go for it on fourth down here. Going for it with Sanders. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short. And he didn't get there. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here of the turnover on downs. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't come before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Here's a second and seven. Too much this time. Down he goes. Fletcher Cox. What an effort from him on that play. Big tackle for a loss of 11. as they set up. One deep, and got his man complete! And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. Scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. Defensively, it was Avante Maddox with a tackle. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And now the throw taken in by Chark. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 27-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves to James. 27-yard line. to throw now on first down. Going for it all. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown. Jaguars. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Jags have taken the early lead. 
I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And that makes the score 7-0. Touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard line. offense had to begin their next drive and last time out went for it on fourth down turned it over gave them great field position turned into six points so they've got to recover here Charles it's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events right the decision to go for it on fourth down it caused, all of that. It caused every bit of it but it showed confidence hey I've got confidence in you guys go pick it up for them didn't happen also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Throwing on second down. Wentz. Quick throw here. That's complete. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Shotgun now for Wentz. And Ingram holds it in. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. And they pick up the first down. Now a play fake. Wentz. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. King LeVon chase out. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. It's second down. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. They fake the give. Now Wentz. Escaping the pressure right. There's the former quarterback, Greg Ward Jr. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 45-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. 45-yard line. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. down again. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Clock keeps moving. And down inside the 15, shot of the 10. 16 yards, a little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. First down. First and 10 at the From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll run at Sanders. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Ball carrier. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And he'll be 
stop just outside the five at the six. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And this is caught. Touchdown from Philadelphia. From six yards away. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And after the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. They'll drop to throw. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was affected, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. That is caught by Josh Oliver, the former San Jose State Spartan. 22 yards there, a first down. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. A gain of three, second down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. And that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time, he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making it. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. And he'll let this one go deep for Chuck. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense.
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. their first timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and taken. The Eagles take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying. But I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now wins. And now he'll tuck it and run. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and that'll be second down. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Four receivers now, three to the right, one to the left. Second down and four. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Josh Allen in there to bury him for a loss of 11. And it's third down. Third. And so we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Kickoff for Jacksonville. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. offense set to begin their next drive and both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively just not able to get anything going so what needs to change I think a lot of the guys will go back and review so to speak because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work okay what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game try and get back to some of those plays as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. On second and nine, Wentz finds his tight end Ingram. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Ben at the 49-yard line. Here's Wentz to throw. Left side here to Sanders. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Throwing is Wentz. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. 
and that turns into what? a huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And they will finally stop him as he's down the 40-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish. But you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. They'll fire one deep for Westbrook. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. He's at the 50, the 30, the 20. are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And that run massively increased his production in this game and now he's over 100 yards. You can break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's to the right? right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. At their own 25 yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They start from scratch here, so to speak. 14 all following the interception last time and led to a score. And they've got it first and 10. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they're really incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. Third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and 10. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. DJ Chark, the intended target, and it'll bring up third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, he'll drop to throw. being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Fielded just inside the 30. He's going to be out up around the 45 yard line. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15 yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because uh, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And yeah, we'll see how determined they are. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. And a nice run to get him past the original line of scrimmage. A gain of seven. It's second and eight now. It's second and eight at the 46-yard line. To throw his wins. And incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath. Nearly got picked. They may be lucky to have that one back. Third down. Third down. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw, it's wins. And 
is picked up. That's the good news for them now. It's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On is the punt team now as this one's set away. Well, here comes Westbrook. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. At their own 18-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And the crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Third quarter action in Super Bowl 57. Here's a second and 10. Here's a pass swung out and left to his running back. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. He's going to fire one deep on the middle. shot but it's going to bring up fourth down has to be a little bit of frustration there back-to-back -back incompletions receivers blanketed on both attempts this time on third down and the punt over the side in the air and the spot will be inside the 35 at their own 33 yard line The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here. A little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back. -back and a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the 37. Oh, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. What a moment for him. A pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints first time. Yeah, that would pretty much seal the deal for New Orleans as well. But I got to go back a ways because, you know, unfortunately, I'm considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl two against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl championship against Rich Gannon in Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison of the Steelers? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. That was a big time play. But for me, the absolute classic. Willie Brown in slow motion against the Vikings for the Raiders. The grand old man, Willie Brown. 75 yards. You recall them all. What a play here. Another pick six in the Super Bowl. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. From the gun, it's Wins. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Turn that time, 26 yards. Now the Jags will have great field position to start this drive as they take over on the short side of the field. And he'll give it here to his running back. And the second wave of 
tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Loss of a yard brings up second and 11 at the 48-yard line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down now they'll throw here out of the gun pressure here and down he goes Jack back at about the 43 yard line Fletcher Cox able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening here's Bradley Pinion now one quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And we're at the time of the Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run. And it's second and four. Brings up second and four at the 26-yard line. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. This short throw caught by Goddard. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run with Sanders. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Soft through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Now wins. Over the middle of the traffic, and that's complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven, seven yards to pick up there. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Boston Scott, his first carry. And he goes down getting this inside the 25. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Now Scott. And he's able to work free for about six down to the 18. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now Sanders. And he'll 
That'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And they give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Another run here with Sanders. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now they'll throw it. Wentz stepping up. He'll try and run. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. At the three-yard line. So it's Eagle football here as we get your reset. Here's second and two now from the three. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after him. And take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Sanders, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And it is good. There are about 70,000 people about to turn blue from holding their breaths. But it's good, and this Super Bowl is tied. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. Here's Oliver. Jaguars take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now for the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Brings up second and four. situation he'll need to and he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away runs through the contact and gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds they scored at a 36 yard punt and the offense will take over with a new set of downs the Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They need to get this around the 40 to have a chance to win it in regulation. From the 40, it's a 57-yard field goal, so that gives you a gauge. And all they're trying to do now is pick up yardage in good chunks and get out of bounds. This game. He can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And the Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. Go, 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 go. 
to throw his wins. Forced out to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. Wins. He'll fire it deep for Rager. It's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Second down. Well, they took a shot there and tried to get it downfield. Fourth quarter tie game. Tried to get it in one chunk, didn't they? Wanted to get into field goal range, as you noted. But good reactions back deep, forcing the incompletion. stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. So back-to-back -back incompletions and that has him staring at a third and 10. Back to throw. Wins. And he comes back with one complete. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Overtime in a playoff game, awesome setup. Remember, the rules are the same as they would be in the regular season. That's exactly right, Brandon. Remember, the receiving team, if they score a touchdown, game is over. But if they kick a field goal or don't score, the other team gets a chance to get the football. They get a possession. If they go down and score, they win the football game at that point. If both teams kick field goals, we keep playing. If a defense scores, let's say the receiving team gets the ball, doesn't score, or they throw a pick six or fumble. Looking up into the roof, and he muffs it. It's loose. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. First and 10 at their own 13-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They're set for their first drive here in overtime, and this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing, because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. And it's been loud in here so far. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. And now the throw taken in by Chark. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're in OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Overtime here out west, and you got a team from the eastern time zone. Maybe their body clock's a little thrown off, or is that overhype? I don't think it's overhype, and, and I think that for most teams, you're hoping that your mind overrules your body because your body's looking for slippers and, and, and bedtime clothes, right? <laughs> They're looking for the pajamas. But in this case, you've got to stay with it mentally. And what a lot of teams do, they never change their watches. They always say on East Coast time, and just go ahead that way to try and defeat him. And that's caught 
Inside the 30. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. Well, that certainly changes things here because they're in field goal range already, but a field goal, that's not what they're looking for now, not after that big play right here in overtime. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Down at the 17-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Second and two. Second and two. Looking for his running back. And he's got it. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Defensively now, the ultimate challenge. Of course, the ball gets in the end zone. This thing's over. And I remember my coach has always talked about in goal line situations, and now you're in overtime where they have to keep them to three points. Otherwise, this thing is done. Win your individual battle within the framework of the team defense. Beat that guy across from you and make a play. I expect him to attack on defense and not sit back. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. And goal. They'll try to run with Hunt. And he's into the end zone. Move over, James White. You've got a new rival for best finish to a Super Bowl ever. And the Jaguars have done it. Jacksonville, the Super Bowl champions. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.